Uh, camera. Action. All right. Hi, Osama. It's really <laughs> nice to meet you here at Stanford again. Yeah, well, it's really a great pleasure to, to see you, uh, to see you back uh, in Stanford, but also to see your team. Right. And uh, I'm, I'm really delighted to, to meet uh, Mingo Kim and uh, uh, Jacques Judam, uh, Sang Yun Kim, and uh, Sang Moon Hur. Uh, and also your students, uh, your PhD students who are joining us today. Um, I, I, I can say uh, it always reminds me uh, of uh, the time you were here at Stanford uh, because you arrived at a time where uh, this is the end of the quarter. We have a lot of student projects. And uh, uh, as you saw yesterday, we had uh, many uh, exciting uh, project that our students developed and uh, I hope uh, you enjoyed those uh, our students enjoy your presence and uh, I hope we will be able now uh, to come continue our discussion on uh, this uh, uh, project that we intend to take on together yes uh, the, yeah, the title is development of human robot with human level Manipulation skills and advanced human robot interface. I think this is really related really topic of your own research. And I noticed yesterday there is a Stanford Robotics Center, right? It's going on very well. Right. right? Yeah. Right. Right. Well, uh, I mean, as you know, robotics is multidisciplinary, and what we want to do is to really connect the different. Uh, part of robotics together from designing mechanisms uh, to perception and sensing to planning and control uh, with the application and and uh, uh, that requires really bringing people who are uh, covering these different areas to work together in concrete projects so the project uh, on uh, humanoid uh, uh, advanced humanoid development that uh, requires uh, also reaching uh, environment that are difficult to reach by human or dangerous for human uh, is something that we've been working on. Um, you know the project about Ocean One? Yeah, Ocean One uh, K. Ocean One uh -huh. K. Uh, Ocean One K went uh, uh, all the way to 1,000 meters under the sea in the Mediterranean. In fact, there is a movie about uh, the story of right. that expedition. And uh, Ocean 1K uh, now is uh, a star, movie star. <laughs> so, so uh, I mean, this project, I, what I like about it is it brings a lot of the element that uh, we were interested in developing and we started developing, but I think uh, together we can take it much further. Uh, it is uh, about uh, the autonomy of the robot through sensor feedback and perception, but also about how we can manage to uh, execute motions remotely. And that requires uh, solving the problem of uh, communication and delay. And this is something also we worked on. Uh, I uh, mentioned to you that we were able to develop uh, a version of our uh, ultrasound imaging that was working from Stanford all the way to Chengdu, uh, which is 7,000 miles from here. And uh, uh, just uh, be behind you, you have uh, Adrian, who, who worked on this controlling the robot uh, from Stanford to Chengdu. So I, I think for Seoul, it will be not a problem. <laughs> we can control uh, any robot there, and together. you can control it from right. here. And I think we can, we can get uh, uh, really a testbed for those uh, interactions. Of course, there are a lot of uh, uh, exciting uh, development in building human-like skills uh, for the robot to build that autonomy. Uh, these are things that we also we are exploring in different contexts. So I'm really delighted to have this opportunity to uh, uh, to consider uh, the possibility of working with you in again yeah. uh, in in a, a, an exciting project uh, around something that I really think is very important for 
uh, robotics, and that is to reach places that are difficult for a human. So, uh, yeah, this okay. is very yeah. exciting. Yeah, and I think uh, your students can come to Korea to work with our students together, and also my students can come to Stanford, right, for a certain period of time. Right. Yeah, well, I mean, th th this is how we, we, we actually uh, pursue real collaboration, uh, exchanges, and, uh, and uh, really working together in person, and also uh, the, the communication, regular communication over uh, Zoom, I think, uh, will enable us to follow uh, on the development. And uh, there are so many challenges from the hands. Uh, design to the mechanism design. We are designing a new human-friendly robot that uh, we are using in medical applications, but that will bring a new ways of uh, building the next generation of uh, ocean ones. There are a lot of common inter things right. that yeah. I feel uh, are going to be uh, wonderful. Yeah. So anyway, I wish you a great stay uh, here uh, at uh, in, in Stanford. It's beautiful weather, yeah. and I hope uh, we will be able to uh, pursue this project together. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Everyone. Thank you. Cut. <laughs> <laughs>
underwater environment without actually getting wet. I really think Ocean 1K represents a historic development in robotics. This is uh, something that I believe will allow us to go underwater and perform tasks uh, to help the environment, uh, to recover uh, artifacts for archaeology, or to repair uh, structures. So I really see uh, this as a major, major step towards performing physical tasks underwater.